Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. I want to thank everyone and the new subscribers for the support. I promise to bring you the best content and information that you deserve. I'm really excited to show y'all this threshold and half tone effect that I use all the time to treat my photos. A couple simple steps. There's a threshold, a half tone, and a gradient map to create this style of effect. Very simple and very effective. I thought using Bob Marley for this one would be cool because of his hair and like the just the detail that I, I feel like we'll get from it. This video is just to show y'all little tips and tricks you can use to, you know, enhance your photo uh, graphics. Without further ado, let's get started. But before we do, hold on. If you're new, just hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share. I want to talk, man. Let's have a conversation. Hit me up on the comments. And on this video, I'm going to leave y'all a little gift, a gradient map set that, that I'm going to be using on this video. It's about 10 uh, different gradient maps. So to get that, just go down to the descriptions and hit the link to my site and you'll get a free set of gradient maps. All right, so show some love and I appreciate y'all. Thank you, let's get started. Pulled my image off of Google. First thing I'm gonna try is maybe making a copy of the layer and that's Command J. And maybe play with the blending modes a little bit. And I feel like I'll get a lot of detail with this one, linear burn. Let's just keep going down to see if we get anything else. Yeah, let's do color burn. Select both layers, make it a, a convert into a smart filter. That's going to filter and convert to smart filter. Make it one layer, just try to stay clean a little bit. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is make a copy of that layer again and hide hide the layer below. So just I just want to save it in case I gotta go back. Now what I want to do is maybe play with half toning. Maybe get some a little bit of half tone going on here before we go apply the threshold. Now I'm gonna go to filter, pixelate, color half tone, and then make sure all the channels are on 45 so they align and not off kind of like you don't want to offset the channels. Let's play with uh, 11 first as radius. Hit OK. And too much. Let's go back to the half tone. With this bad boy too. Oh shoot. So four. We're only allowed to get four. Let me see. Yeah. All right, that's cool. A copy of this layer. Layer now. You want to get rid of the color half tone on this layer. So just drag it out into the trash can just to go back to the original. What we want to do now is just give it a adjustment layer threshold and then hit multiply as the blending mode. On the properties panel, maybe play around with the threshold and bring it down a little bit or up. I mean, whatever works, let's just back up a little bit. Um, let me see, I, I like that, that's cool. Let's leave it like that. All right, so we got that. I want to take that Bob Marley layer and the threshold layer and then convert it to a smart filter again. And now I want to add a multiply as the blending mode. Let me see. Yeah, this is it. Let's see. So that's it. Multiply. It's kind of what you want here. So, so now with the top Bob Marley layer, you want to uh, give it a mask. And now this is where we can blend like the threshold and the half tone together a little bit more. So like the nose is kind of like too blacked out for me. I kind of want to like soften it up and maybe bring a little bit more detail out. So on the mask, you want to go on the mask, make sure you're on the mask. Then hit D first on the keyboard just to go to default black and white swatches. You hit B, bring down the brush a little bit. Um, Let's go with a hard edge brush. And now I want to just like tap on his nose a little bit. Make sure it's on the black swatch, just flip it. With the black swatch, it'll erase the mask. And then if you switch it back to white, and that's that quick command on the keyboard is X, just switch back and forth. And then white will bring it back. So let's change it back to black, just to get more, some detail on his nose. Then you want to play around maybe with the eyes to bring some detail out here. That looks good. Maybe right here, right on his cheek, 
for the sit. And if we give it like a gradient map, I'm pretty sure it'll look even sicker. And gradient map will top it off. It'll give it some nice vibes. Let's just go into my pre-made gradient maps and play around with it. I have a set of gradient maps that I pre-made. So this will be a good one, I think, for this graphic. What I'm gonna do as a gift, I'll just leave it, a link on the description to my website. You can download it for free. And y'all know I like to play around with my, uh, my color lookup as my cherry on top. That's what I call it, just to mess around. Like that looks even better. It's very subtle, but this is such a huge impact. It just kind of evens out all the colors and just makes it look a little bit nicer. So that color lookup preset is called uh, fall colors. Um, so I think it just evens out the colors a little bit more. I kind of want to add a shape behind them. And then we can add some type on the top. Uh, the main reason for this video was to show you how to get this halftone threshold type style. It's a very cool effect. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use this effect all across of different genres. I want to give it a shape. Like I said, maybe like a big square behind them. And I'm just using the shape tool right here. And I'm going to send it all the way back. Boom, and I, I love that. Oh, let's make the canvas a little bit bigger. All right. I kind of want to bring out the hair a little bit, so I'm going to go back to that threshold layer with the mask, and I'm just going to try to like brush out it. And I kind of maybe want to add like a burst behind his hair. I don't know, maybe let's just mess around. In front of the shape layer, add a new layer. Command Shift N, return. Um, I want a soft brush and maybe I'm gonna hit D. So go back to default. And I want to brush in some white behind them. That will bring out a little bit more of the gradient map. Yo, it kind of gives it like a fire. Yeah, I like this. That's enough. I want to go into Illustrator. Y'all know I like to make my type on Illustrator, so I'm just going to do a quick Bob Marley. Uh, I don't know what type to use yet, but let's see what let's see what we get, uh, Marley. By Marley, let's, let's see what the typeface truck gives us. Yeah, and that's, I think that's it right there. Cool. Typeface is truck. Let me just align this a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. Just copy that real quick. Go back into Photoshop. All right, paste it. Smart object. Let's go, Bob Marley. Let's go. Done. Man, you know what? I'm not even gonna show his whole name. You know, you know who that is. Who that is. We ain't gotta show his whole name, man. The whole name ain't gotta show up like that. Boom. You feel the vibes, man. Texture gonna bump this thing up a lot. And maybe we could play with like levels and like just for some contrast. I have some uh, texture somewhere around here. Yeah. Let's just go with one of my go-to textures. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, multiply. Nope. That's too harsh, but I'm gonna send it right back. Like right behind Bob. 
Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, man. Let's make that thing bigger and see what happens. Yeah, dude. Damn. Yeah, so what I did, I just I just sent the texture right behind uh Bob Marley. Just so it'll it'll affect just the background. Like if I go back to that painted layer where I, where, where I was brushing right behind his head, make sure your swatch is on white. And if you brush in some more, see a little bit more detail come out. That's what I'm gonna do. Just add a little bit more. But I think that looks pretty dope. Let's crop it back out, give it a border. Let's go back into the color lookup and see if we can like find another preset that might work better. I kind of like this. This one's a little bit better. Now going back and looking at it, it might not need this this uh, square shape behind them. So I'm just gonna uh, just hide it for now. Maybe play with the color of the type and see what happens. Yeah, I'm I'm really I really I really like this way better. And then we could bring it up just a little bit. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna brush in some color behind them, but using black. So I'm just gonna change my swatch to black. Use the brush tool, make a new layer and just just and just brush behind them bring in some some of the background detail so let me just bring down opacity on that brush bring up some of the detail that's good yeah i'm good with this make let's change the color on that type i don't know Yeah, it has like this kind of like spray painty type vibe, which I like, and I'm not mad at. So that works. I hope y'all following along, man. Sorry, and I didn't confuse anybody, but um, I think it just takes you messing around a little bit. I gave you the sauce, you know. It's 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 pretty much an image, a gradient map, threshold some half toning, oh, those are the ingredients that'll make something like this. So I think this is cool for this effect. Let me add a mask to the texture layer, just so I want, I want to kind of get rid of all this stuff right here. I don't need. Let's just add some marching ants, just so I can attack the, outside of it a little more and add a, more, some marching ants on the type so, so i can get outside of that just erase some of that texture yeah this is kind of lit i like that i would put it on a natural like a natural t-shirt let me see if i could pull up a cat so i'm gonna paste it on there so we get scale it all the way up boom Change the binding mode to darken. Get rid of the background. Play with the levels just a little bit. I like that. Bring down the opacity to 90, to crispy. I want that thing to look a little bit, a little vintage. Yeah, I mean, this looks official. This looks like something you would see at Urban Outfitters or Forever 21 or something. So I'm happy with this. Yeah. 